What's up everybody? As you know, we're getting a little older and we gotta look out for our health. We got some uh, some of these very healthy juices, some V8s and prune juice, which as you know is very good. So we're gonna try some juices. But make it soda. All right. We got the Sodology Soda Maker. Yay. The company was nice enough to send us this and we're gonna try it out by turning some healthy juices into soda. All right, let's jump into this Sodaology Soda Maker. Now, I always kind of wanted to have a, a Soda Stream-ish show for this channel. Um, we're calling this one, but make it soda. Uh, so we'll have various types of liquids, maybe some semi-solids, <laughs> and try to turn them into soda. Oh, I hope nothing fragile is in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> It's a pretty basic setup, actually. Um, you put your canister right up in here. You pump it, and then you get some soda. I've seen a lot of channels use the Soda Stream uh, to do the sort of thing we're about to do. It's more like a Keurig in the way it works. Mm -hmm. And anything that backs up out of there is gonna go straight into the pipes that you can't clean out. Is that why they tell you not to do milk? Cause yes. it like shoots shit up in there? <laughs> yes, oh. that's, that's why you should never do that. And okay. that's basically why I've never really tried this. <laughs> Full disclosure, I actually got a, a, a soda stream. It's hanging out in a closet somewhere uh, to do this, but then Sodology contacted me and I'm like, it's finally something that will do it the, correct, the, the right way. Is Sodology the actual study of soda or is it the fake one that gives you like, a birth sign yeah, it's and like, like a soda of the month. <laughs> it's more like astrology. Yeah, and not so Don know me. <laughs> what is it? Wait, what would it be? What? Ready take. Ready take. Ready take. All right. It's in there. We'll start with the prune juice. Yes. Most fruit like of the juices. 100% prune juice here. Have you ever had prune juice? Um, uh huh. It tastes like an old person uh, beverage, that's for sure. It tastes like raisins, yeah. All right, fill up your bottle. There, press and then speed. It's happening. How long are you supposed to do that for? It says until it reaches the desired carbonation level. How can we tell that from out here? Um, that's a good question. Whoa. Whoa. There you go. Yeah, once it starts venting a little bit, uh, I think that's about good. So it tells you actually to kind of shake it up a little bit just to make sure it's all uh, diffused. And then you got a little vent button here. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. It's getting crazy. Oh, wow. Oh, it looks like the head of a Guinness. All right. Yay. And we're safe. So now we can remove the lid. And <laughs> <laughs> you got yourself some prune soda, baby. Yeah. <laughs> some nice sp sparkling. <laughs> oh my God, there it goes. <laughs> it is. It's, it's... Oh, hooray. <laughs> oh, a bit of the bubbly. Why is this so silly? I think it's going to make your tummy bubbly. <laughs> okay. It's there. I think we can go a little harder. Certain liquids uh, won't hold on to a carbonation very strongly. Mm -hmm. This just might not be a good candidate for the... Uh, for the carbonation. What does one look for in a good uh, soda uh, candidate? I think that's what we're discovering on this show. Yay. The bubbles in prune juice, for whatever reason, remain so tight that it's almost like nitro style. Ah. It's become creamy. Here we go. The flavor does kind of disperse a little bit better in my mouth now. It doesn't do a ton to the prune juice. It just feels like um, 
yeah, it just it just made it into a creamy sort of experience. I just don't know how down I'm gonna get with prune juice. <laughs> like from here on out. I don't think I'm gonna be like, ah, oh, I need to get my own prune juice uh, and soda stream or sodology. But this is cool. I love this thing. I'm gonna make it the soda and we're gonna make it muy caliente. Well, that's not, that's not Italian. What is it? No, just kidding. Uh, spicy hot. V8. I will be really surprised if this works at all. Uh -huh. I think it's probably just going to uh, make a foam or something. Yeah, I think this is definitely the most potential just to be a mess. How much do we add? Uh, that's up to you. There is a fill line for like the maximum water line. I don't know how that translates to V8. It's Way up it. there? Mm -hmm. No, we're not. <laughs> 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 Ooh, that smells like V8. <laughs> oh, and we're venting. There's bubbles in it. I see those bubbles. <laughs> Can I do it again? Like, okay. It'll keep it's venting, done. but yeah, keep Is doing it. Is it done? It. Ooh. I want some you real can't. bubbles. You can't see the bubbles. I want some chunky. Chunky salsa to drink. I see the bubbles. Okay. Oh, I didn't like foam up at all. All right. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, bitches. <laughs> oh, we got spooky Halloween mist up in here. <laughs> Happy Halloween, everybody. Look at it bubbling. Oh my God. <laughs> I was I was so wrong. It's still bubbling. This is amazing. <laughs> oh my god, it's amazing. Oh. Oh, it's not good, but it's it's like it is like if a sparkling water all just had a bunch of tomatoes in it. This could be amazing. With like a Bloody Mary. Uh huh. It would be so fucking good. This would elevate your Bloody Mary to another level. This is ridiculous though. <laughs> I just want to laugh till I puke. This is <laughs> the funniest thing. And it's still just like bubbling up at me. <laughs> it's so happy. It's like some kind of witch's brew. <laughs> it is. Because it's so thick. Oh, oh God. Oh, it'll make it burp up spicy V8. <laughs> So, like, I'm not really a huge fan of V8, honestly. Like, I like the low-sodium V8. Uh, so I don't like this already, but I'm... The carbonation, right? <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> it makes you wince how amazing it is. <laughs> you just don't expect it. <laughs> You're looking at it, <laughs> and you still aren't prepared. <laughs> Like Lovie said, it, it doesn't taste, it, it's definitely not something you want to do. <laughs> but it's amazing. But, but it's, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> now, <laughs> it's a little bit like, have you ever gotten milk that was uh, spoiled before you opened it and it got carbonated because of the bacteria venting inside of there? Yes. That's that, that's why this is so surprising. It's like that. Where it's like, oh god, my V8 went bad. <laughs> because there's something ve like venting gases inside of it. <laughs> my body is telling me this is botulism. <laughs> exactly. There's like a animal instinct reaction that's like, don't drink it. It's like if there was a tomato LaCroix, but then somebody actually spilled a can of tomato soup. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. We couldn't have done, like, taro or uve or another kind of, like, tasty veggie, root veggie. Pure rooty goodness. Mm. You can really smell the earth it grew in. <laughs> Make it soda. Oh, Jesus. Look at how red it is. Oh, damn. <laughs> It's still creeping. 
It's still creeping. Oh shit. Oh. Uh oh, this one looks it's like dripping blood from the top. It is very so gnarly. Finally. Watch out. Bubbled. Yeah, this uh this one definitely doesn't hold the carbonation as well as others have. We know this isn't carbonated enough because it's just like the prune juice. So we gotta we gotta send it back. <laughs> we gotta send it back in. Give it a little more. Send it. Send it. Oh god, look at it. Just churn. Oh, it's so gnarly. There we go. Happy Halloween! <laughs> oh god. Okay, it's kidding to me. Oh no. Okay. There we go. Okay. Oh, I don't think yeah. I can see it. I can see it getting onto your fingers. Oh, 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 oh. If your product <laughs> disagrees with the carbonation, it will come out of the top. Uh, it, like, that venting is obviously a safety feature. However, that means you're going to have leftover juice on the, in the inside cap. Uh, that presents the same sort of issue that, that SodaStream has. The thing is, is that this is a separate bottle. This is a separate thing you could just buy. So, yeah. if this ever gets funky, throw it out and get another one. Well, I mean, you, would, you could just immerse this in a tiny bleach solution. Yeah. And that's different than, like, trying to put your whole machine under it, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? I don't think there's any helping <laughs> the root juice. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on. Take a sip, sip of your bubbly beet. <laughs> Can't get enough of that bubbly beet. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Those are two f flavors that were never meant to come together. <laughs> Here we are. I've tasted the uh, flat beet juice. It's still bourbon on V8. <laughs> but here we go. <laughs> it's so wrong. <laughs> it's so wrong. <laughs> like, okay. I like beets. I like the beets that come in the can, you know? <laughs> uh, I don't think other people like them, but I'm kind of drawn to them, and I do like the juice a little bit before it's been carbonated. This is horrible. It, it just it just makes the earthy flavor um, just a little bit more distracting. And this is kind of sweet. It's bringing already. out sweetness. Yes. Is what I got. Yeah, it's so weird. it's like a lot of extra tang to it. And uh, it doesn't need to be that way. It, it absolutely hates being that way. And I hate it. Very cool testament to the product, though, that we could take these things and inject some added value into them, whether that is something you appreciate or not. Uh, but you can't deny that this did fundamentally, fundamentally change all of these and uh hey sky's the limit like looks like you could do this with most any liquid maple syrup let's let's do it <laughs> i was thinking soups yeah a soup <laughs> no i think this is totally worth it i'd say if you are into carbonation you gotta have one probably especially if it costs less than a soda stream good lord it's really nice. Is there another equivalent to Soda Stream somewhere that has a design even close to this? Uh, or any other products that maybe we should try and buy? Yeah. I don't know. And let us know what you want us to soda Yeah. next time. Heck yeah. Are we going to bust this thing out again? Oh, hell yeah. Let's soda it up again. Sky's the limit. Like Let's you said, Lofi. Soda up. Soda it all. <laughs> all right. And remember to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, check out all of our social media. Check me out over on Twitch. Check out Pink and Wero on Twitch. And check out the merch store, too. We close this out, but we have a little bonus to do. You know, a big inspiration for myself of, this, of the soda uh, injection is the channel Big Clive. Now, he's an electrician 
traditionally does a lot of electrician stuff, but he has a little sideshow where he just uh, uses a soda stream. I, ho I hope he like cleans it out or something because <laughs> he, he needs to get one of these. Uh, but he does various alcoholic beverages usually, and I believe he started with the Jägermeister. And ever since I saw him do it, I was like, I have to do that. <laughs> Yay! I have to try it. Finally, Sodaology has made it possible. We're gonna carbonate some Jägermeister for you, Big Clive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yay! It's like a little Jäger fountain. Oh, he's having a party in there. I love it. The beet juice is like somebody getting murdered, but this is like a party. And we don't have a, 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 beet, a beet juice situation. It's venting just fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's got little itty bitty bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> it's so surprising, it leapt out of my mouth. <laughs> oh my gosh. It is, it's like very fine bubbles. It's doing something so fun with the Jägermeister. That, that's actually... It's improving it in a way that like... Like, normally you use you mix Jägermeister with something, right? Like, typically mm -hmm. is what you would do. You'd make, like, a Jäger bomb or something. This is making it a drinkable cocktail just by adding carbonation. It is so interesting. It's weird how much flavor it adds to it. I mean, it's why you'd aerate your wine. Yeah, that. it's... It's incredible. Lofi, <laughs> I spilled it, but you gotta try some too. Yes, I do. Jaeger is so syrupy, but it adds so much brightness. I don't know what I'm tasting. <laughs> Honestly, all of the flavors are, like, really more pronounced now. It's strong. I can taste, like, all of the flavors way more in the aerated glass. And uh, I kind of prefer just having the cool, <laughs> like, <laughs> straight out of the bottle yeah. Jaeger because it's it's definitely smoother. This uh, tastes like like a lot of the flavors are more there, and it's 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 kind of kicking my butt. <laughs> but yeah, it does taste different. And not bubbly though. Like I wish there were. It does not hold on like, to the bubbles the same way. Yeah, yeah it's 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 not quite there. 